Today, we're talking to Alfred E. Nixon, and we're talking about home-based business and why it might be a great fit for you. Hi, my name's Troy Landwehr, and I love teaching business through the Bible and the Bible through business, and we have some great things where things have changed. A lot of people more than ever, are looking for ways to make money from home. We see everything going on. Kids are getting more at home school because of what's happening. Jobs are, you know, Hertz rental card and and 40% of restaurants may not open again. Nike's giving more and more layoffs. So more and more people are looking to ways to make money from home. And today I got a special guest. His name is Alfred E. Nixon, and we're both brothers in Christ. And Alfred, what's what's your shirt say, anyways? What's it, what does that say? I love that Bible in the background, man. I love the way you built the principles, so it, it it had to be fitting. I come on with a special shirt. Uh, I can do all things through Christ. I love it. I love it. Okay, all right. Absolutely. Well, listen. You know, we're going to get right into it. They want to hear from you for certain, and I know um, we have some similarities. And I know we we talked about uh, you know, where you came from and you've had massive success. And what I like about it, and we're going to show you guys what he's done a little bit. We're going to talk and get into of why he's so successful and how you can take advantage of some of his tips, but it wasn't, you were not always on top of the mountain. Uh, tell people where you came from. I for sure didn't come from, uh, the top of the mountain at no, no expected imagination. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys, if you're watching this, I don't know if you ever heard of, uh, this TV series, first 48. If you ever seen that series, go Google it, go YouTube. it. if they're in Miami, when they're, that's the neighborhood I grew up in called Liberty city, uh, Les, Les Brown, he can tell you all about it. He grew up in that same neighborhood. Uh, very tough or, or upbringing, man. We seen, I seen people get killed right in front of me. I've seen, it was just tough. You know, grew up in a perverse environment, seeing my mom work two and three jobs. I mean, she never even graduated high school. It, it, it was a tough situation. I'm, I'm the oldest of seven kids, you know. So imagine growing up in a two bedroom apartment with 14 people, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your auntie, your granddad. Your grand. It was it was tough growing up. But I wouldn't change anything, Troy. Everything that, you know, molded me, the motivation, everything that I grew up in made me the person I am today, made me appreciate uh, everything, the, the hard work and everything that we went in to become successful. So I'm grateful for where we come from. You know, that's interesting. And, you know, I grew up in the basement of my grandparents. Uh, we grew up fairly poor and I know there's different levels of po poorness. And in a lot of ways I grew up rich because at least I had grandparents that let us live in the basement. Right. <laughs> and I look back at stuff and even though we we're praying and, and, you know, went through some hardships, you said 14, in a, in a two bedroom apartment. Two bedroom apartment, man. L let me ask you something. Do you ever feel like, you know, back then it was a big struggle? But because for me, I'm actually glad I went through all that. Are you glad? Do you feel like that shaped you to be the person you are? Well, when it was happening, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh. I mean, we were trying to find, you know, mayonnaise sandwiches can only go so far. <laughs> you know, sugar water can only go so far. But uh, man, I thank God for uh, the way that we came up. It made me appreciate it. and seeing the, the, the you know, the, the proverbs that was a, around me made me say, hey, you know what? I don't want to go that route. I don't want to do what this person's doing. I want to do something different. I want it to be the one uh, to take my family out of that vicious cycle of poverty. So for me, it motivated me. It molded me to want to go to work, to want to do something different, to want to be inspiring for the family. So I wouldn't change anything. Uh, it really made me appreciate and grow a work ethic and a, and, a, and a focused mindset to do something significant and take my family out of that vicious cycle of poverty. Well, let's talk about everyone. You know, so many people at home now are worried. There's a lot of people worried about their industry, you know, because with all the different changes, more and more people are open to doing what you and I do. And it's not a video like this. It's it's working from home. And tell, tell people how you got in the industry. I mean, you've been able to make not only a lot of money, but the big thing is when you can help other people do the same thing. Now let's talk about that a little bit. Man, I, I was introduced uh, right out of high school. Uh, when I graduated high school, uh, you know, a good friend of mine shared some information with me and came, got invited to take a look at some information in somebody's living room. And that was the first time, Troy, I ever heard the concept of residual income. You know, my first opportunity 
They said if it's on, you get paid. We was getting paid off the essential services, like cable bill, light bill. So I was excited uh, about that. And, and that's what introduced me to network marketing. Then I went to an event. <laughs> I went to a training and I seen a guy that was on stage who shared the story. He said he was the shopping cart repairman. And I'm going to say that again, shopping cart repairman. If you ever been to a grocery store, he was the guy that was fixing if the wheels was messed up. And the guy ended up becoming a multimillionaire. And that really inspired me because I never even went to college, barely graduated high school. And I've seen so many people from so many different types of walks of life have so much success in this industry. So that's kind of where I got my start from and was there with that company, had great mentorship, learned a lot, uh, but then found the right vehicle. And uh, we've been able to hit it pretty big. But that's when I got my start at the age of 19 uh, in this industry. Well, that's it. You know, you kind of feel, you know, I felt like when I when I flunked out of college, uh, and my mom's a teacher. My 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 grandparents and and uh, my aunt and uncle they're all teachers. Not being educated, I felt like a zero. And this is a industry we went from zero to hero, my friend. <laughs> okay. So you know, but the, you know, the floor is no place for a winner, and we're all winners. You know, I look at it when you don't have a college education like us, and I think we're seeing too that college education. Although I, I we promote education in all formats, yeah. it's not meaning what it what it's meant in the past. And so there are people that are more open to new things, you know, and where else are guys like, what other options, you know, you're from, you know, you're from a, a poor area. I was, I grew up in a bit, what other options are there for people like us? I mean, where else can we make the kind of money we're making? Right. Yeah, man. For, I mean, for me, uh, when you see the great thing about what we have here is, the computer promotes you, right? And no matter if you're black, white, no matter if you're fat, tall, short, it doesn't matter. If you do the work, you can get promoted. They don't care about your degree. They don't care about if you went to college or not. You know, for me, uh, seeing so many of my friends uh, ended up graduating. Some of them went to some nice universities and when they graduated in debt and couldn't even find a job in their field, you, you know, for me, I, I, I didn't want to go that route. So that's when I see network marketing and seeing a way that you can build a residual income, something you can build. While some of my friends went off to college, I was in this industry building for three, four years. And when they got out of college, we was in a situation where we was making really, really good income with zero debt. They graduated in debt. So I think now, uh, as you mentioned, it's, I wouldn't say it's, it's not as meaningful. It's just the world have changed. Technology have changed when it comes to business, when it comes to job, when it comes to so many different things. And in our platform, it gives you a level playing field that no matter where you come from, no matter what your background is, you can go to the top. You can get whatever it is you desire if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to commit. That's the difference, Troy. People that's being interested and committed. A lot of people may be interested. They may see your lifestyle. They may see what I've been able to be I'm like, man, I'm interested in getting involved in that, but they may not be committed to doing the work to get what it takes to get that. So, uh, yeah, I, I love our industry because it gives everybody a level playing field, male, female, black, white, fat, short. It doesn't matter where you come from. You can be massively successful if you're willing to put in the work and commit here. Well, I love that. They can't separate us politically. They can't divide us with our religion, our, our backgrounds. Everyone starts at, at the same level. And what are you seeing out there today, Alfred? I mean, there's there's so many people out there that their hours have been cut back. They're unsure of what's what's happening with their work. What Are you seeing people more open-minded for a home-based business? And what tips can you give them when they're out there looking? I tell you what, Troy, uh, going into this pandemic, uh, it was so much uncertainty in our business. Uh, didn't know how people would react. Didn't know if people would be like, hey, you know, I'm not looking to invest. I want to make sure I hold on to my money and, you know, be able to take care of my family, pay bills. And so we, we didn't know what to really expect. And, you know, being that everybody was home and, and people was more open minded to now making money from home to where our business has 4x than what it was now, you know, so so many people is now looking for ways to generate revenue from home. And one of the things that I that I will tell you guys is, you know, for me, it's always finding a mentor. You know, I found somebody that had what I wanted and was willing to show me. It, it cuts your learning curve, right? Learning from people who's already where you want to be. Finding a mentor and number two, being committed. As I mentioned earlier, rather than being interested, you got to be committed because you can be excited. 
but excitement is going to run out. You got to be committed to your reason why finding a mentor, being committed and understand plugging into systems. Save yourself time, energy and money. That's what systems stand for. And that's why I've been able to be successful. Uh, I'm not the best person in the world. I didn't go to college. None of this stuff. I didn't have no business experience. It was systems in place. I found the mentor and I was committed. I had a work ethic that I was going to learn and grow and continue to get better and work my butt off until I reach my goal and a mentality to help as many people as I possibly can, which flourished to where we are now, which created the success that we built. I, I just I love that. You know, I love to find a mentor. I, I think people miss that. You know, it seems like such an obvious answer. answer. You know, uh, Tony Robbins calls it mirroring. You know, you got to mirror the right behavior. Nature's blind. Right. If you do the right things. You eat the right salads like everyone else is eating salads. You'll, have, you, you'll get the abs too. But if you eat the greasy food, you got yeah. to mirror someone that's successful at it. And, uh, you know, I think that's really important. We're trying to mirror after Jesus, right? That's what we're, we're looking to do. And so, and there's the best networker of all time. You know, if you're going to church, he was such a phenomenal network. So I love that finding a mentor in a system. You know, what's interesting is I'm from Maine. I'm just a guy from Maine, but the Starbucks in Maine, is the same as the Starbucks in Florida or California or Texas. It's the same. So when you have systems, I think that's key is to be able to earn while you learn. And so you've been able to help a lot of people. And, you know, there's a lot of people that have questions on taxes and businesses. And, you know, a lot of people that have, I know you've helped a lot of people even uh, get better credit repair. You know, a lot of people have bad credit repair and you've been able to guide them through that. When you're talking about working from home, what, what do you think people, what's the biggest myth from working at home? And what's, what are some other tips you can give for people to look, working at home as well? Well, I mean, uh, working at home is great. Uh, you know, uh, you can get distracted. I think, uh, you know, kids, especially now with, with distance learning and all of this different stuff. I mean, there's so many different things that can happen. But for me, uh, to be able to work from home and be able to spend time with my family, be able to help and touch so many people, uh, around the world now with technologies like what we're using today, Zoom, you can connect with so many people. When I first got into the profession, Troy, uh, we didn't have access to Zoom. I was actually driving around doing home meetings and you know meeting up one on ones at Starbucks. Now we can turn on a Zoom, 300, 500, 1,000 people where they can even watch from their phone, get the information and, and, and make an educated decision to get involved. The tip that I would tell you in, in, this, in this industry uh, and, and building something significant uh, is personal development for me. Number one, you got to work on yourself. You know, this is a true profession. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Uh, it's not you can't have the lottery ticket mentality or the microwave success. Granted, Troy, some people that come in that shoot to the top very fast. But I guarantee you those people, they probably paid the price somewhere else. They probably develop relationships. They probably did whatever they needed to do. I would say definitely working on yourself, personal development. Uh, becoming a professional in this industry uh, because professionals get paid amateurs. They're just in the platform. You got to go from being an amateur to being a professional. And that's just over time. If you growing, going to events, getting mentors, going through the ups and downs and, and leveraging and understanding the industry. If you become a professional, you can make professional like income in this industry. Like I like to play basketball, right? But we could agree, Troy, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm an amateur. LeBron James is a professional. That's why he makes millions of dollars. So just learning this industry, putting the time in it, being committed, finding a mentor, personal development. You have to grow. If you would have seen me when I first started to where I'm at right now, is you, you would never even believe it. It was a tremendous amount of growth of me going to conference, me investing into myself, reading the book, getting around the people that had what I wanted and just consuming that information and putting it into my own life. So personal development, Troy, is huge. And, and, and getting that line front of becoming a professional in the industry. You know, I love that because, you know, I think, you know, when you're looking at it, you're basically saying your personal development, you're studying success, st study successful people, right? If you want to have a great, great relationship with God, hang out with great people that have a great relationship with God. You want to have a great marriage, hang out with people that have a great marriage. And right. when you're looking at mentors, you know, what's really awesome, uh, Alfred, is you and I get a chance to um, be in a, a circle that's pretty special, right? But that circle of people that are, you know, that, that have are in a like-minded industry, but you can find stuff. You can find things on YouTube. And one of, one of the tips that I think you and I were discussing is, is basically what you're saying in personal development is study successful people, you know, study the people that are in your industry and have what you want. 
if you want a better relationship with God, I got to hang out with people like you, right? I got to hang out with people like you. So, um, but actually, so tell, tell me this, you've actually helped hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, not actually thousands of people, I should say, I know it's not hundreds, thousands of people make additional income from home. So we're not just talking about the, the big money quick, right? We're talking, I call it the BMQ, the big money quick. We're talking about a lot of people are just, they're dying to make an extra $500 a month, $400 a month. And that's something you have done too. You've helped people make thousands and thousands of dollars extra a month. But how, how good does it feel? Because there are a lot of people who said, Alfred, I just, I just want to be able to have a nicer car. My car is always broken down. I live in Chicago. How, what, how is that such a great award to help people like that? It's, 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 it's the best feeling in the world. Uh, I, you know, I sat down with some athletes and, you know, my wife, she knows a lot of celebrities being in the line of work that she's been in. And a lot of them was like, man, we do great, but I can't teach my cousin to make it to the NBA. You know, he may not make it. I can't teach my cousin to become an actor. In, in Hollywood, but see, in our industry, it, we we give it, it forces us to do so. We have to help people to grow, to really build something significant. And it's nothing like getting a phone call and you know talking to one of your leaders and saying, "Hey, man, you know, I was you know I was able to help moms. I was able to take care of mom bills. I was able to retire moms. I was able to go out here and, and upgrade my car and upgrade my lifestyle." It's nothing better than seeing people level up, whether it be an extra five hundred bucks a month. You know, to cover a car payment, light bill, whether it be an extra couple thousand a month, whatever it is, a person can get it here. And it's so fulfilling. One, to be successful and generate revenue yourself, take care of your family. That's awesome. But to have thousands upon thousands of people that, you know, you've been able to directly correlate and affect and, and have them have successes. is such a, you know, fulfilling feeling. I can't I can't express it's the best feeling in the world. Well, it's awesome. And it's and what, one of the things I think we're gearing to, it's not just a phone business. And it's just a home business. It's a phone business. We look at why do you, why do you, you know, the question is we have for you is, do you do business with Amazon? Do you do business with Uber? Why is Netflix taking off? It's because it's, it's a virtual business. And that's what you're the king of. You are the king of getting people in virtual businesses and helping them out. And look, I, there's a lot of people, I'm sure, you know, that you're helping make a couple hundred dollars extra a month, but then they start going, I can't believe this. I'm making a couple hundred dollars extra a week. How cool is it to see their goals change to say, uh, maybe I can fire my boss like you, Albert. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my goal initially. When I first got started, I was like, man, if I can make a, you know, 500 to a thousand bucks a week. Um, with this platform of 500 to a thousand bucks a month on top of what I was already making at my job part time, that can help out in some areas. And when that thing started to compound and we started to grow it, 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 it brought down Troy to people getting choices, right? Maybe you may love what you do, right? You may just want to make some extra income and maybe you may hate what you're doing and you're trying to get out of there. And now you have that, cho that choice and option. And that's what happened for me when I got to a certain level of income. I had the choice that I can stay at my job because I love what I do, or I can walk away and go spend full time with my family and build a business from home. I do everything from my phone, <laughs> right? That's the best thing about this business. It's so flexible. We got systems in place that can help anybody, no matter where you're from, no matter if you got experience here, no matter if you're 80, 18 or 88, you can plug into a system like this and be successful. And one of the quotes that really you know, opened my mind, I, I was at an event and the young lady was like, hey, I got 20 years of experience, you know, in this field. I don't know why I'm not able to get over the hump into in this in, in particular network marketing. And one of the gentlemen, he was like, no, you don't have 20 years experience. You have one year experience, experience 20 times. It, it, it's a it's a big difference. Right. When he said that, I was like, man, I, I, I never really looked at it that way. You know, people that have those professions in this business, it forces you to grow. You know, one of my mentors said, Alfred, you have to become a millionaire. Not because of the money, but the person that you're going to become in the process of pursuing hitting that level. And I can tell you, man, um, it's, it's it's been so fulfilling. I love this industry. I love helping people. And uh, it's, it's nothing that you can do out there like this. You can do it from home no matter where you come from. Anybody can play and um, can go to the top and be able to take care of their family, whatever it is they desire to do. Well, it's truly a live to give. And one of the things I love about this industry is that it's great to make your own schedule. It is great to work from home. 
uh, especially especially with everything going on, that just really sped it up. But it's really great to serve other people. And, you know, there's there's nothing wrong. There's nothing in the Bible that says anything wrong about making money. What they talk about in the Bible is they talk about sin. And what I love about you is you are the true uh, champion of someone that when you increase your standard of living, you increase your standard of giving. And uh, me personally, I, I love the fact that I've been able to give more money to my church than ever because of working from home. I had um, ceilings. It was only so hard, high I could go, you know, working from other people. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've been able to help my aunt who has Alzheimer's. And so I think what we see in this field is that it's kind of like putting the oxygen mask on, right? So, right? You know, it's like, it's okay to put it on yourself first so you can go out and run and help other people. What have you seen out there? I mean, you've helped a lot of people and that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's, it's, it's giving me an opportunity as well to, to give, you know, givingly to my church freely without even thinking about it. You know, help our, our mission trips. We go all around, and not just our country, the world, you know, and, and be able to, you know, share the word of God. And, and, and I'm been able to be a part of that because of this industry. But man, just being able to pull people up, you know, you never know what people is going through out there, whether it be in their personal life, whether it be uh, stressful financially. I mean, when this pandemic hit, you know how many people you know lost their job. I was reading an article, and I think twenty something percent of people one day would they was late or wasn't even able to pay their rent or their mortgage. So many people out there, so much uncertainty, and our profession has been growing immensely because so many people now are aware. Like, how do I make money from home? How do I become creative? And they're taking a look. More people who never took a look before is taking a look right now. They're understanding the profession and getting involved and understanding that it's simple. If you just come committed, you find a mentor, you plug into the system, save yourself time, energy, and money, over time, you're going to become successful. So it's been so fulfilling um, to see so many new people who never even done this industry come in and, and absolutely crush it. And I'm just you know grateful to be able to serve, man. Well, it's such a great, well, Jesus came to serve, not to be served. So, all right, before we let you go, all we're going to say is this, is that uh, thanks for coming on. We're definitely going to have you back, but this was just the appetizer. You've done a lot of great things for people. How do they find Alfred E. Nixon? Where can they find you if they want more or if they want to get in touch with you? Where can they find you? Absolutely. You can find me, Alfred E. Nixon, on Facebook, uh, Alfred E. Nixon on Instagram, and also Alfred E. Nixon on YouTube. You can find me. I'm pretty easy to find, Alfred. Not that many Alfred E. Nixon in the world. Like <laughs> hey, and one tip, and one tip, because I messed this out before everybody goes. Make sure you're looking at the E, because <laughs> it's Alfred E. 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 Nixon. Yes. Yes, and yes. we're definitely going to have you back. Thank you so much. God bless. And uh, thanks again for coming on. We're going to have you back, Alfred. Appreciate you for having me, Troy. Have a good one. All right. Thank you.